I'm quite sure that none of you have missed the Chinese balloon that was flying over Alaska, Canada and mainland USA and was shut down by the US Air Force some days ago. This balloon is a flat earth proof according to some flat earth idiots. I'm quite sure that none of you have missed the Chinese balloon that flew over Alaska, Canada and mainland USA that the US Air Force did shoot down some days ago. Uh, and this balloon loves flat earthers. They love it so much because they think it have proven a flat earth. And one of the flurfs that love the balloon is the one who nowadays only makes videos about things that flies. Satellites, ISS, uh, spy planes and so on. And of course, it's this one. Level Earth Observer. I'm sorry that my system couldn't find an image on him, so I had to use the second best thing. A tower crane. Okay, let's listen to or look at a very short part of, from Leo's video about the Chinese balloon. Uh, uh. Let's check this story out, which has been all over the news this morning. Essentially, China are going to pop the mainstream narrative with their space satellite balloon. So let's have a look. If you were a space superpower and you wanted to spy on someone, what would you use? Victorian technology, i.e. a weather balloon? Or a satellite in space? That's right, you use a satellite in space. They can't use the satellite in space because space, i.e. tin cans orbiting a globe Earth in a vacuum, isn't real. So as a, as a result, if you want to spy on someone, you've got two options. A spy plane or a high altitude balloon. And of course China chose the latter, and in doing so, have highlighted the absurdity of all the space claims. Yet again! There was a lot of talk about people shooting it down, but the administration decided not to. I think you'll find the administration realised the balloon was too high to be shot down. Because at that height, propulsion and rockets don't work. Sorry! And of course, in doing so, with that demonstrable fact, it kind of destroys the space narrative yet again. What do you think about that uh, video I see? As usual, the level Earth observer lacks all knowledge regarding the subject he covers in his video. High altitude balloon probes are used for many different types of survey. Just to investigate weather, balloons are sent up two times a day from over 1,000 different places on Earth. Balloons are also used for military purposes. Balloons of the type that came in over the United States fly at an altitude of between 20 and 30 kilometers. A spy satellite flies at an altitude of between 600 and 1,000 kilometers. But I don't think Level Earth Observer understands the significance of that difference in height. Can you try to explain it to him, Arctic? Thank you, Icy. So that type of balloon flies at about 20 to 30 
kilometers up. And a spy satellite flies at 600 to 1000 kilometers up. And Leo does not see the problem with this. Because the satellite flies roughly 30 times higher up. So, Leo, if you take your P1000, you take a photo of a house on a distance of one kilometer, and then you take a photo of a house 30 kilometers away. You don't think that the image taken from one kilometer will have a bit more details? Or? This is a stupid argument. Uh, a satellite is not so big, a spy satellite is not so big. On this kind of balloon, it was very big. They can fit a lot of equipment. So the same equipment you have on a satellite, you can have on this balloon. And it's much closer to Earth and you will get much better images. Now, we don't know if this was a spy satellite or not, but if it was, it would take much better images than a satellite. Uh, it's, it's basic understanding about cameras and optics, Leo, but of course, that's too advanced thinking for a flat earther. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Once more, flurves don't understand anything. And as Isis said, there are sent up very many balloons every day around the globe. It's no secret that balloons are used for meteorology, different type of science, and so on. It's not the satellites that are balloons or balloons are satellites. It's different purposes with different things. You use satellites for some things and some things. Balloons are better. It's quite simple. Okay, quick thank you all helping me, helping Ukraine. Hopefully in some days time I will order number 23. So I think the drone number 22 have arrived or ar arriving in uh, Ukraine tomorrow or Wednesday. And hopefully I can order one more this week. Thank you very much. That was Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit like, subscribe, become a member, or just come back next time I'm drawing a video. Have a nice day. Bye.